Hello, this is Scott Washi again, and this time I'm going to explain to you how to import your uh, Skeletal Mesh PSK files and your animation sequence PSA files from my 2009 into Unreal Tournament 3. So, after the last video, we created a couple different files the Skeletal Mesh for a Widow character. Uh, spider character and also a the animation files for that spider, spider character so what we're going to do is now bring that into Unreal Tournament 3 so how you do that is once you open up the Unreal Tournament 3 editor which comes with uh, any version of Unreal Tournament 3 I believe um, what comes up first is the generic browser now um, you're only gonna be using this basically so if for some reason you don't have it on here you could just go up to view browser windows generic and pops right back up so what you're gonna want to do is basically find or create the package that it is going to be in um, if it's for a custom mod then you're probably gonna make your own package so what you're gonna do is go file import and then find the file, the skeletal mesh file uh, that you're going to import. You got to import that one first. Um, so select it, hit OK. Then on import screen, here is where you could create your own package or select from a number of previous packages. Um, so if your package is already in there, you could just select it or you could just create a new package and you can also give it a group if you want just to organize things a little bit easier um, we won't do that just for this purpose and then the name of the character which by default will be the skeletal mesh name but you can change it back to wherever you want to um, so now real important also is to check box under B assume my coordinates um, this will make sure that everything is upright because I believe um, Maya is a Y up world and Unreal is a Z up world so if you don't do that then it will be turned 90 degrees the wrong way so just select that and then hit OK and then it will take a couple of seconds alright so now if you just scroll down to your package and select it you should have the character um, within the window it'll say how many tries it is, how many bones it has, and so on. Now, to get your animations into it, just double click on that, and that will bring up the anim set editor. Here, you basically view everything for different uh, animations and such. Um, in this window, you could you know move it around just like or Maya. Um, one thing you'll notice is that the character came in on its side. That, don't worry, is you know no problem, uh, especially with Maya, this happens a lot. What you do um, is just go File, New Animation Set. Now this will create a new animation set for your uh, character, which you could import the animation set, animation uh, PSA files into, um, and also level them out so you want to create a new end of set most likely in the same package that you created the skeletal mesh in and then name it something other than new anim set because that's just lame alright uh, and when you do that it'll you know pop back up at the zero axis and be ready to import the files and now one important thing you want to do before importing anything to make sure everything's all fine and dandy is um, make sure the UV is recognized by uh, the Unreal. Now how you want to do that is go to mesh over here in its properties and then check under materials and as long as it has one right here or you know it starts at zero so as long as it has at least zero that one then you're okay um, if it doesn't import with UVs 
at all any information then you basically will not have any textures on it or materials so that's a real important thing you want to make sure now to import your animations all you got to do is go to file import PSA which is your um, animations packages and just select where you saved it to before and now check them out just go to anims and you'll be able to see which animations you have now on this window you could select from different like packages so if you had something so if you had them in different like packages different animation files you want to separate like the walks from the runs or the walking and runs the specific ones or something like that or you just have multiple different characters with different message and you meshes and you want to reference them back to other animation files that you've done you can do that as well um, but for now they're just going to be in the same package so if we play right here we just want to make sure it runs you know fine and dandy and we can also hit the button next to play to have it loop so it'll just you know keep walking back and forth and make sure it's a smooth transition because it is a cycle now you want to make sure all your animations play fine um, otherwise you, you might run into some big troubles and that's how you check out the animations um, a couple other things you want to be aware of is under the properties under anim and anim set uh, if you have any bones in your character moving up and down like um, you know through the translate not the rotate coordinates then you want to uncheck B and rotation only that will mess you up uh, real bad if you don't uncheck that and you have bones like moving up and down because they won't move up and down at all and it your animation will look like utter crap um, so if you have any bones actually moving and not just rotating then you want to be sure to uncheck that um, other than that that's basically it uh, this is all for like cloth information and um, LED info um, which is all you know higher level stuff uh, but that's the basics of importing animations to Unreal. All right, thanks a lot.